Guess where I am? I'm in a place to everything. If I'm not careful, I look like a. I don't want to be obese. I want to be thin. When I see that burger, I just gotta be thin. I want to be thin. I want to be slim. But when I see those pancakes, that pin. On this food, we don't show any. This is how we eat in New York City. You guessed it right. I'm in the Big Apple. New York City, man. of the world. Everything here comes in large amounts. It is big, humongous, enormous, gigantic, and very, very diverse. 180 different nations, which means at least 180,000 different dishes. Donuts, bagels, pancakes, burgers, fries, steaks, sushi, lobster, pizza, and hot dogs. you love and love what you do. Well, I love my job, but I particularly love what I'm about to do right now, and that's start the morning with the best donuts in New York. Oh my God, it's true. Do New York policemen really love donuts? No. No, it's just you then. No, no, I don't like donuts. Oh, you don't like donuts? I buy a bottle of water. Really? Well, I guess that's, that's why you myth. look you look so, is it? It's a myth, yeah. Don't believe that. Do I look like I eat donuts? <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely not. All right, you water, have a nice healthy. day. Thank Take you. Take care. Bye. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the snack box. I've heard a lot about your donuts. Donuts, yes. yes. We feature uh, donuts from the donut plant. They've been around for over 100 years. They've been around for 100 years. 100 years. They're also the first people to figure out how to make a square donut. So let's uh, let's uh, try a couple of these. Square donut? Yeah. That's illegal. What do you mean a square donut? Square donut? Well, the same nation that put the first man on the moon also invented the first square donut. Here we go. Mm. Square rocks. Only in Times Square can you find such a fantastic square donut. Wow, this is really brilliant. So how many of these do you sell a day? Dozens, dozens and dozens. People come and buy them by the, the box though. Can I get 15, 20, 30? At least one million people will walk by our kiosk every day. Why has the donut become such an American uh, symbol? Well. I know that a donut has been created by every single culture in the world, but America, we will be the people who America. will say, we can't have one flavor of donut. We need 17,000 flavors exactly. of donuts. I don't know about the rest of the country, but in New York, everything's a grab and go. Everything on the fly. The donut is a perfect little meal. You can just grab it, have it with your coffee, and be in your office in two seconds. And New Yorkers love coffee. New Yorkers love their coffee. Yeah, they love their coffee. How do you say that? Coffee. 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 On the calorie side, it is high up there, isn't it? It's high up there, but you need a lot of calories for a busy New York day to walk around. I see. Good point there. Well, I'll take this donut to go. I want to thank you very much Good, for nice this opportunity. You. And it was a perfect way to start my morning here in New York. Sweet. All right. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for having my snack box. All right.
Rule number two. Believe in yourself. Be optimistic. See the good side of things. For instance, what do you see here? Now, if what you're seeing is a hole, uh -uh, you are on the wrong track. And yet, if what you see here is a nice, plump, crunchy, crispy bagel, you are on the definite road to success. Hello there. Hi, how you doing? Hi, my name's Ishan. Richie. Richie, how nice to meet you. I'm looking for some nice, good, old-fashioned New York bagels. Well, this is the spot. All right. See, if you saw our sign, it says bagels made the old-fashioned way. I really heard about these bagels, and I'd love to see how they're made and hear more about them, if that's okay. okay. Well, he's making them now. Come on. I'll All right, show you. thanks a lot. So, Louis, Louis, this, Louis. Send me all right, we are calling the, send it's the bagel hotline, and we need some bagels right send now. Send me bagels right now. This is the bagel hotline. It's the hotline. Yes. All right. Okay, now. We need some more bagels right now. Aha. Okay. Oh, that is beautiful. Here's a board of raw dough. There's 35 bagels here on this board. Okay. Okay. We're going to drop it right in. That is beautiful. What the boiling water will do is gelatinize the starch uh -huh. and enable the dough to stretch and rise while it's in the oven. Could I maybe try? Nope. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Gosh. This is Pedro. This is our master baker here. Pedro. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Ishai. Here. Okay. What? 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 So these are, this is the sesame for the bagels? Right. All right. So now we're going to take the bagels out of the kettle. All right. All right. And where do these go then? Just, just drop them right, right. onto the boards. Right on. Just lay them out. OK, here we go. All right, now you can see there's a top and a bottom. We want to put the bottoms up. Bottoms, bottoms up. Bottoms up. That's what they say. All right, bottoms, okay. bottoms up. Bottoms up. They're, they're hot. But, uh, <laughs> You gotta be quick. He's an, he's an expert. He's like grease lightning. All right, all right, okay. here we go. From the end? Yeah. Okay. 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 Wow. What he's doing is he's turning them over onto the stone. Okay, here we go. Wow. <laughs> it's not easy. No, it's not. It takes ah, yes. Closing door. Okay. <laughs> Look out for the closing door. <laughs> Here it comes. All right. All right. Oh, now we're done with the process. Right. I think I'm ready to taste it. So I'd like you to make me a classic New York bagel. OK. My favorite is an everything bagel. Yeah. Poppy, sesame, mm -hmm. onion, garlic, and salt. Some scallion cream cheese. All right, scallion cream cheese. Smoked salmon. All right, smoked salmon. Nova Scotia salmon. Oh, this really looks good. Some onions. All right, and it is Here ready. There is the quintessential New York sandwich. Hey, Richie, I like it. Okay. I yeah. really like it. It's really good. Thank you. It is really, really good. So thank you very much for that. My pleasure. And I will hit the streets for some more New York street food. OK. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Number five, always be on the move. And here in New York, that means even during lunch. It's 12.37, and I think it's time for me to choose myself a lunch truck. What have we got here? Mexico Boulevard. Hello there. Hey, how are you, sir? Hi. Do you think I can maybe come around and, and see what Check you do? Yeah. yeah. Come around. Great, Please. thanks. All right. Wow, 
know. So this is like a real Mexican kitchen on wheels. Absolutely, my friend. So how does it work? I mean, do you just drive around the city or? We move our spots every day. Uh -huh. Colleges, we go to the financial centers. And do you have regular clients? I mean, are there people that they know that this truck is the truck they love? Yeah, there's all of our customers that come here. That they. They, most of them repeat. We sometimes get to even know their name, so it becomes a very so uh, know personal. It's not just random trucks going around. You know that there's this specific truck that's here there every is, Monday. And exactly. Then, wow, that is really nice. So are we ready to? Uh, are we ready to let's, eat? Let's try. Let's try some tacos. Okay, let's try some tacos. If you don't mind, I'll take also a picture for my personal blog here. There's a little camera, Absolutely. and I just not every day do I get to be on uh, the inside of a truck. Yeah. Uh, no, food, New York food truck. Me and the crew here. <laughs> yeah. And me and the other crew here. And my crew there. This All is right. it. This is it. Do you like spicy food? I do. Oh, so I gotta, sound I gotta add some extra All right. Spicy. Well, no, well. All right, there okay, we go. Okay, here we go. Roll it up. Take it to the face. All right. There we go. One Mexican tacos on wheels going down. <laughs> This is great. Thank you this very much. Very, very good taco. Thank you very much. Amazing. Well, I mean, I'd love to stay and chat and eat. I mean, I'll take my tacos with me because there's so many trucks I have to Absolutely. see. Yeah. But this is really great. I'll just take one more bite, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Um, mm. ah. So what have we got here now? Where will my truck be waiting for me? Schnitzel and things. Hello there. Hey, buddy. Hi, man. Uh, my name's Ishai. Oleg. Oleg. Yes. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. I would like schnitzel and things, please. We can give you that. All right. What, what, uh, when you say things, what are you asking? Well, schnitzel is the main ingredient, but things, we have a, a bunch of different gourmet salads that's prepped fresh daily, so. Gourmet? So this is a gourmet truck? Absolutely. You're in New York. I'm in New York. I definitely am in New York. Uh, do you think I can come inside and see how Absolutely. It's come on. Right. Thank you very much. What's the secret then? What, what, how do you start? Well, we have uh, the schnitzel here, which we have to bread. We have to pound it very hard. What, what kind of meat is that? This is chicken. Let's go for a chicken schnitzel then. All right. So it's going into the... It's going into the fryer right now. Into the fryer? In order to prepare it, we have to pound it very thin. And then we have to put it in a, a little bit of flour, some egg wash. This idea came from um, Austria. I lived in Austria. I worked at an investment bank in Austria right. in 2008. And then the financial crisis hit, so I got laid off. So come back here, take their food, and make and, it my own. All right. So you make the best out of every situation, I see. Exactly. But where did the idea for a truck come from? Well, I didn't have much capital saved up, and I knew that food trucks were starting to get a little bit of buzz in 2009. Uh -huh. So I thought, you know, I have a little bit of savings, so let me do the food truck instead yeah, of a restaurant. You know, you've got this really cool New York accent, you know, I must say. You don't sound well, like I grew up friend. here, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to acquire one a New York accent without much success. Let me impersonate a New Yorker for you, all right? Please. Okay. So I'm, yeah, so I'm like, you know, I'm saying like, uh, let's have some coffee, right? And he's like, I don't want coffee. And I'm like, you know, you said you want some coffee. And he's like, I don't want coffee. And I, I, I well, that's That a, wasn't bad. That's a, you need a little practice, though. I need a little practice. Very nice. Beautiful. So we have the chicken schnitzel here. And I put it in with a little bit of roasted beets and feta cheese wow. with uh, Austrian beets, potato huh? salad. All right. Gourmet Appetit. food eaten with bare hands. Here we go. This is street food, you know. You came to the right place to eat with your bare hands. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is really good. This is a damn good cheese. Thank you, sir. I want to thank you so much. Oh, you've got a club on. That's all right. Thank you. Great. Thank you very thank much. You. Enjoy. Okay, I am. Yeah. Bye bye. Ah. All right, all I need now is a little dessert. And this looks like the right truck for me. Hello there. Hi, how are you doing? I'm all right. We offer three flavors of slush, ginger, citrus, and tea. All natural ingredients, no so artificial can I colors. Come inside and sure. Taste it? All right, so let's go for a ginger slushy then. Okay, so we start out 
pouring the slush. And then how about ginger and raspberry? So, but what is the ingredients of the slush? Um, we use all natural ingredients. Uh, it's real ginger, some other spices. It's sweetened with cane sugar and water. And that's pretty much it. That's it. I call it slushy. Wow. This, this is gourmet. This is really good. This is surprising. Mm. Well, thank you. We like to, you know. This is not the kids. This is seriously adult slushy going on here. Wow, this is great. Mm. Oh no, the slushy's gone to my sinuses. Oh my god. You gotta hop on it's one foot hard. and put your tongue on the top of your mouth. It's not working. Oh my god. This is dangerous stuff. This we slushy. should have a warning oh. on the side. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. It is three in the afternoon, the perfect time for every New Yorker to have his New York cheesecake. Thanks, New Bus. No that was really cool. I'll catch you later. Definitely. Now, I'm on my way to a bakery that has definitely thoroughly read rule number nine in my book, which says that in order to maintain success, you have to innovate. Every year, they have been inventing a new flavor of cheesecake, 38 flavors until this very day, and today, they will reveal the 39th flavor in my presence. The city of New York and I are awaiting. Hello there. You must be Eileen. I am. Very nice to meet you. My name is Ishai. And I am very excited because I heard that today you might be revealing the Our 39th. Your 39th flavor. Do you remember all? I remember flavors? all of them, yeah. but it would take too long for me to recite it all. However, yeah. I have someone that can go through those flavors in a New York minute. Really? Does, does he just happen to be here then? He does. Really? Who's that then? Christian. Hey. Hey, Christian. How are you? I'm nice very good. You. Nice to meet you, man. Well, so are you a regular here? Uh, three times a week. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, I hear you can name all the different cheesecake flavors. I can probably get them all, yeah. Strawberry, blueberry, cherry, pineapple, raspberry, banana, pumpkin, mango, peach, orange, mixed berry, pomegranate, raspberry, key lime, lemon, passion fruit, apple, cinnamon, coconut, custard, marble, chocolate, chocolate bourbon, chocolate cappuccino, chocolate raspberry, white chocolate raspberry, cookies and cream, grasshopper, Kahlua coffee, peanut butter, dulce de leche, pina colada, candy, Snickers, mixed nuts, caramel pecan, maple walnut, Rocky Road, Amaretto, Zebellion. And that's the New York Minute. Amazing. I'll have number 26, please. <laughs> Uh, I believe it's right here. Do you think I can come around and see how you make them? I think you should come around and let's start with the basic. Perfect idea. Come with me. Bye. Real New York cheesecake is very simple. Mm -hmm. Simple, pure, and basic. And this is the real. This is the finished product uh -huh. of a real. It was this. It was, it was this. this. Now, what are the actual ingredients? of your New York cheesecake. Cream cheese that you might put on a bagel, a New York bagel. This is sour cream. This is sugar. All right. Fresh lemon, just a touch, fresh eggs, a nice, pure vanilla. I'm going to let you taste the basic New York cheesecake because a first cheesecake experience, like anything in life, a first kiss, a first love, yes. is very important, and you remember it. Right. Do you remember your first kiss? I, I do. You do? And what? I remember my first cheesecake. Do you really? Because my mom made it. Look at that. Now you tell me if you wouldn't want seconds. All right. Mm. Do you taste the creaminess? I taste the creaminess. Is I it do. light? It is very light. As nice. promised. And it, well, you know, I don't remember my first cheesecake. Experience. But I've never tasted a cheesecake like this one. So it's as if I'm eating my first cheesecake. It really is fantastic. Thank you. Mm. For how long have you been making cheesecakes? Almost 39 years. Almost 39 years. And what, what do you think would be the secret of your success? We bake it with love. We really care about what we do. But you know, the sameness can get very boring. 
And ice cream has so many different flavors. I said, why not cheesecake? And to keep things from getting boring, yeah. we adopt a new flavor every year. You are an artist. <laughs> you have an artist soul, don't you? Well, I have a discerning palette, that's for sure. Now, an artist's palette is with paint. My palette is with taste and flavor. Mm -hmm. Would you like to taste some of the love that will make you even happier than you are this I mean, do I want to taste the love? I do. Let's go taste some of this wonderful Let's gallop love. to the front. All right, I'm after you galloping away <laughs> to taste all the cheesecakes in the world. Ah, this looks fantastic. Chocolate bourbon. Banana. Coffee cheesecake. Nuts for cheesecake. Mm. These are almonds with amaretta, and these are caramelized walnuts. Oh caramelized walnuts. Mm. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Now that's a New York bite. Mm. Eileen, I am ready. I feel like now I am ready for the moment of truth where we shall reveal the new flavor. The new flavor. Are you ready? Only for you. Wow. Bravo! 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 This is called our Sunday special. All right, but before we taste it, I just want to take a picture for my personal blog. So here we go. Maybe we just put it over there. Right. Okay, and then now let's all look at the camera and say, gee, 